Yes, sir. How are you guys doing? It is time for another honest reaction and a review to a Kenyan song that just chucked. Today is the 16th of October 2020, and our brothers at Crystal Axis, the punk swinging people brothers of the Kenyan rock scene who do the, some of the best punk rock you've ever heard, they've just chucked a new song called Take the Throne. So uh, I'm going to listen to the song and then uh, out of respect for uh, their music, I'm not going to play it in the clip. I'm not going to play it in the clip. I'm going to listen to it. I'm going to react to it and then uh, review it and then tell you what I think of it. Yani, I even have my headphones on. I have to listen to this song keenly so that I give you in-depth critique and uh, just my honest opinion about this track and what i think all right this is the first time i'm listening to this i have not listened to this song whatsoever i want to record uh, exactly what i think and uh, tell you you know just my honest take on the song all right this is take the throne by crystal axis let's see immediately any just immediately the opening the opening riff is just amazing Okay, Crystal Axis, Yanni, I am only 19 seconds into your song and uh, the guitars are so... Uh, uh, they slap proper! Anyone who does not listen to Kenyan rock needs to listen to this song because I'm like 30 seconds in and man, oh man, I can tell you the production quality is dope and the only other one is a manga. Uh, Kenya the rock! Kenya the Rock don't produce nice, nice, uh, nice songs. The quality is there. You should listen to this song. It's really well produced. I'm, I'm loving this whole woo, thing in the background that you guys are doing. I don't know why, but this slow tempo, this slow tempo uh, of the track, I don't know. It's uh, it's a bit different from what I'm used from Crystal Lux. It's just my honest take, yeah. Um, it's I'm um, used to like the Leopold tempo and the Nyayo house tempo, but it's not bad. It's just different from what I'm used to, which is a good thing anyway. I don't expect every song from an artist to all sound the same, unless you're breaking Benjamin and you know how to do it well. We tear down the walls and then we take the crown. Um, sounds like another liberation track, especially because of uh, the, the art style, which I can see. The art style looks like a uh, slaves taking, you know, taking, capturing their slave on. Uh, that, that's what the art style looks like. It looks like slaves who are trying to capture their slave owner and then overpower him and overthrow him. Which I'm assuming is the general theme of the song, even though I'm listening to this for the first time. The guitar work in this. Is it? Is it Jay? Jay, is that. Are you the one doing that? Wing, 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 wing. <laughs> guitar riff. That is really sick. Okay, what is this? What is this trap outro that you guys are you guys are doing? Pretty good, pretty good, especially voca uh, vocally. Um, Ahmed Bulan, you do a uh, justice to these songs very nicely. I would give this song about, let's say, if I was to be lenient, maybe give it a seven. <laughs> Let me give it a seven, seven out of ten. This song uh, has, a, a, like I said, a much slower tempo than I'm used to in a Crystal Axis song. This is just my, you know, subjective rating. Don't take me too seriously. No, same a degree. Many on the song yet. Yeah, for me, Nyayo House, Nyayo House really hit me proper. I think Nyayo House, yeah, and Nyayo House was like six minutes. Yeah. So I think Nyaya House outdoes this one, but this one is really good. I think different from diff from from the other Crystal Axis tracks, in that it's slower in tempo, and also I also like that whoo thing that was being done in the background, and also I really like that outro. I think I think Crystal Axis, if you're ever it, just my subjective opinion, don't take me too seriously, is that if you're ever thinking of experimenting with trap beats. Uh, like that outro, um, I highly advise it. Me, I like weird, weird songs. This is just my personal take. I like weird, weird songs. I like songs that, uh, <coughs> you know, try to break the norm. And uh, of course, actually, I really love, uh, uh, maybe I didn't say this, but I really love the, the cover art for this track. And I'm going to give this song one more listen so that I can review it properly. The guitars in this song are a 10 out of 10. I, I, I cannot deny. I don't know why, but 
this song, the tempo of the track has such a, has such a, it has such like a trappy vibe, you know, like, like, mm, 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 mm. you know, something like that, but in guitar form. And Chris Alexis, if you could do a lyric, if you could do a lyric video for this track, that would also be really dope. Just to get, you know, all the details about the song. But also, I think, I think the other thing that I've noticed is because this song sounds like it's talking about, you know, like a coup or, you know, overthrowing a superior power. That caslowness in the song gives the song a sort of ominous feeling like danger is coming. Danger is coming and, you know, it's time to take over this other power and take the throne. So it's like at this imminent, imminent, uh, you know, a certain imminent conflict about to happen. Okay, so. <laughs> Genuinely, I'd give the song a 6.5. Uh, if I was to be lenient, maybe give it a 7. <laughs> maybe give it a 7, 7 out of 10. And it's really just because I'm used to much more faster paced songs by Crystal Axis. But like I said, I think that the song was intentionally done at a slower tempo to indicate like a, you know, like a feeling of like imminent doom is about to happen as, you know, as as conflict is about to happen because it's talking about taking the throne and it's talking about taking the throne not at peacefully in like a violent way and also there's this lyric about uh we don't need cake we want our daily bread yeah it simply means that uh, to my choker with your sweet nothing promises and now we are tired of your leadership so shoo away with you <laughs> yeah we'll do it ourselves and take over from you and i believe that's what this one is talking about that was my honest reaction and review to this song. Have you heard it? I'm going to leave uh, the link in the description section below. Please make sure to subscribe to Crystal Axis on YouTube. You can listen to this song on YouTube. Uh, I wanted to play it in this video, but um, I think it's good to support an artist by streaming their song on their platform so that we are a party the daily bread. Eh? So that we are party the daily bread. Otherwise, thank you so much. That was my honest review and the critique of the song. I think maybe if I give it a few more listens, I may get a few more details in the track, but that was just my initial thought and review. What do you think of this song? What rating would you give it? Have you listened to it? Please make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed my honest opinion and subscribe. Tap the bell icon thing, the bell icon thingy so that uh, you are notified of all new videos. Me, I like reviewing Kenyan rock music and supporting Kenyan bands. Yeah, boy. You take care. And God bless.